All right, men and women who care about the vagina, love it that you opened this video. And I wanna tell you about a book that I thought was amazing and I think every woman should read um, and every other person who is with a woman or is interested in vaginas should also read it. <laughs> so Naomi Wolf, the book Vagina. Even if you were to purchase this book and read two of its chapters, it would give you immense new knowledge. Stuff that we absolutely haven't been taught. Um, awesome research that she, I mean, she collected an immense amount of research for this book, visited all sorts of professionals, and gives us tons of insight that we have never been taught. So really, you don't have to read it front to back. I invite you, just read a couple chapters and it'll tell you something. For instance, I opened the book today, I've read it a few times, and here's this quote, a fully functioning pelvic nerve is crucial for producing dopamine, oxytocin, and other ch chemicals that raise uh, levels of perception, confidence, and feistiness. Now, you don't have a fully functioning pelvic nerve if you've experienced trauma to this part of your body. Da! Like we know that sexual violence has kept us down as women. So how do we re-engage? How do we like reconnect the, the flow of energy in the pelvic nerve? So you can have great orgasms, so you can have an excellent sexual relationship, but also so you can feel good. When women are depressed, highly anxious or depressed, this pelvic nerve has probably been damaged. I mean, there's many parts of the body that could be holding trauma. But if this, if this is a woman with a pelvic nerve, then it's not functioning properly. And that is about the connection. Think of the, the base, the root of your body, the perineum muscle up and through, you know, to the top of the head. That energy is not flowing. This incredible life force and vitality that exists in the lower part of the body is not rising up and, and coming up. So we might stay in the head or we might stay with a heavy heart. We can't actually access the massive vitality and energy that's the, at the base of the body. So there's various ways to do that and that's part of my teachings, it's part of what I learned, thank God, to heal myself, um, was that we have to open the whole system, we have to cleanse it and open the whole system if we wanna be free, if we wanna be alive and happy, if we wanna feel joy and have great relationships and really like ourselves and wanna get up every day that the whole system have to, has to be fully functioning. So uh, ladies and men, I implore you to read Naomi Wolf, Vagina, um, even if it's just part of that book. And women, I implore you to create relationship with the root of the body, with those lower parts of the body, the root and the womb. And that's part of the work that I'm passionate about as a healer and as a group educator and facilitator. And there's many other people on this planet that are starting to um, focus on that. Like we have to wake up the body, we have to do it through the body. That's why somatic um, therapy is growing so much. That's why there's so much more breath work and yoga can help. There's some particular postures that can work with the root in this part of the body. But the breath must get down there. If we want to heal the pelvic nerve, the, the breath must come in where there's been constriction. If we look at a line, like if it's from the root of my body, there's a line of energy that wants to move, have oxygen flowing up and cycling through the body regularly. So let's say this is the perineum of the body and energy starts to move up and it goes, you know, it just hits like a big boulder. It can't flow, then it tries to like go around some other different pebbles to, to get up to source all your organs and to source your blood. So if there's been injury, we really have to deal with that through the body and get breath down in there. And so sometimes that's about like moving the lower body, forcing breath down there. There's lots of different techniques, doing healing work, um, hands-on healing, various things that can help you get energy down in there. 
and I'd love to hear about you growing this relationship with the vagina and the womb because I know it's going to connect to your confidence and your voice and your sense of self and, and power and it's going to heal the world as each of us um, become more connected to our root, women and men, as each of us more, become more connected to our root and honor this place in our body and drop the shame. We gotta drop the shame over and over. Whenever you see it, we gotta drop the shame. So if that's a challenge right now in your life, please get support around it. Start talking about it. Um, start writing about it. Start, you know, creating, uh, writing poetry, creating something, doing art, dancing, uh, using intention and, and walking out in nature, using prayer that you want to wake up this part of the body, you want this part of the body to be healed. And may you get guidance in the direction that is, is best for you. So may that, again, as always, may that movement um, happen for you with grace and ease. May that waking up be a process of joy, 